Hi, looks like you need to install your new Ring Floodlight Cam Wired Pro, or maybe you're considering buying one. Either way, good idea. Let this video be your guide to add this garden lighting, video shooting, motion detecting, security wonder to your home. Floodlight cam can be installed on a wall or under an eave. Make sure there is ready access to electrical wiring in the location you choose. Now, speaking of electricity, this camera connects directly to your home's electrical system. It's dangerous stuff and your local laws may forbid DIY electrical work, so get help from a licensed electrician. Before installation begins, find out which circuit in your consumer unit controls the wires you plan to use and turn that circuit off or turn off the master switch. If you're replacing an old floodlight, remove and disconnect it according to the manufacturer's instructions. Let's get started. First, you'll want to grab the bag with the screws and the included screwdriver. Unpack your floodlight cam and gently pull the round mounting plate straight out from the rear. That's all you'll need for now. If you're mounting on a hard surface, like brick or stucco, you'll also need a power drill, a 6mm masonry bit and a pencil. At your installation location, prepare your power wires. Your line, neutral and earth wires should protrude from the outer cable sleeve just over 2cm, with around a centimetre of stripped wire on each end. If your power cable travels inside a wall, it may have a bare copper earth wire. Be sure to cover the exposed section of that wire with standard earth wire sleeving. Now, let's move on to the mounting plate. With a Phillips screwdriver, unscrew and remove this little cable clamp. Be sure not to drop it, as you'll need it again soon. Feed a few centimetres of your power cable through this grommet from the rear. Hold the mounting plate in your chosen location and use it as a template to mark the screw locations. Use the mini level to ensure the plate is level. If you are mounting on a hard surface like brick or stucco, pre-drill the marked holes with your power drill and a 6mm masonry bit. Then push the included wall anchors into the holes. Now you can use the included screws to secure the mounting plate. Make sure the arrow marked up points to the sky. Or, if you're mounting your floodlight cam under eaves, the arrow should point towards the nearest wall. With that done, it's time to connect your power wires. Feed your line wire into the L terminal here, your neutral wire to the N terminal, and your sleeved earth wire to the center terminal. No bare wires should be visible. Use the flathead end of the screwdriver bit to tighten each terminal screw. Tug each wire a little to ensure a firm connection. Lay the cable into the cable clamp recess here. Place the clamp over the cable, ensuring that it will clamp onto the outer jacket and not the individual wires. Then secure it with the Phillips end of the screwdriver bit. All right, now it's time to grab your floodlight cam and these little cap nuts. On the back of the cam, you'll notice a fabric strap. This is here to make wiring your cam easier. Slip the eyelet on the end of the strap over the hook on the mounting plate and gently let the cam hang down. Next, you'll connect the wires from your floodlight cam to the upper side of the terminals on the mounting plate. Feed its brown wire into the L terminal, the blue wire into the N terminal, and the green and yellow wire into the center terminal. Again, use the flathead screwdriver to tighten each terminal screw and give each wire a little tug. Everything looking good and feeling solid? That's great, well done. Now, let's get that floodlight cam mounted. First, slide your floodlight cam onto these two posts. It fits tightly for a good seal, so press it firmly into place until you see the ends of the posts come through the holes on the front of the cam. Thread these cap nuts onto the posts. Pull the metal bit out of the included screwdriver and use the handle as a wrench to tighten the nuts just until snug. If you installed your floodlight cam on a wall, turn the camera module 180 degrees clockwise so that its motion sensor dome faces the ground. If you installed it under eaves, you can leave the camera as it came, which will look like this. Adjust the camera and light modules to your liking. Once the camera angle feels right, tighten the collar screw here to lock it in. Now you can turn the power back on at the consumer unit. Give Floodlight Cam a minute or two to start setup. When the lights come on and it makes a sound, you can start the setup process in the Ring app. It'll take you the rest of the way. Congratulations, job done. If you need any more info, head to ring.com help.